Hey, chumps, Papa Donald here. And this has to be one of the worst years of my life. I can catch a break to save my life. One day I'm being arrested and having mug shots taken of me. The next day, Sleepy Joe is falling over on his face and talking about how peak the One Piece live action is. And the next day I got Obama being the biggest P3 simp in this world. I don't know if I can take this anymore, folks. I miss the golden days in life. Lord, please, can we just go back? Man, what another great day in life. Wow, Donald, you already in here recording? Man, are you actually finally excited to talk about some P3 reload that bad? Man, that new trailer was peak. I thought it was good. I know for sure Obama is probably still losing his mind right now. I've been here all morning, Sleepy Joe, and Obama has been here all night or something. Like, seriously, this dude hasn't stopped playing that damn song for not even a second. I might have to be like Takaya and murder this fool just to stop the torture. Donald, where you been? Never mind that, but DJ dropped that track for me. There's a new threat. Persona users just like us. They called themselves Strega. Get away from me! To all customers, please do not move in the opposite direction of the escalators. Welcome everyone to another edition on The Obama Show. And holy fucking cow. I thought I couldn't get more happier by seeing more. But man, I'm beyond tears at this point. The moment I watched the trailer and heard unavoidable battle and changing seasons, I instantly started screaming my lungs out. I love you, Atlas, with all my heart. And I can't wait until release date when I go pick up my collector's edition. I'm not gonna lie, that trailer was too clean. Obama. I'm super pumped, man. I had to get my pre-order in already. I can't wait. This looks way more beautiful than that old outdated P4 Golden remaster. Here we go with this P5 Royal Child. You must have fell on your head too many times, Sleepy Joe, because anyone would know P4 Golden's remaster is one of the most beautiful remasters in the gaming ecosystem. You're not lying, but nobody cares. Today we celebrate the birth of Pure Peak. The official GOAT of all Persona games drops on February 2nd, 2024. If you haven't secured a pre-order already, then I have to ask, what the heck are you doing? This is beyond a masterpiece. This is perfection at its finest. Tartarus looks so goddamn beautiful. I'm losing my mind right now. Memento still looks better, but I'ma let it slide for this one time. Did you two even see the new battle mechanics? Dude, these special attacks look amazing. Every party member has their own unique Thurgy attacks, and this is also a way to access fusion spells. Man, this is so much better and cool, I just want to start crying all over again. I just want to shoot myself. Don't worry, Donald, you will have plenty of floors to be able to do that. Not what I mean, chump. Imagine if they added more floors into Tartarus. I don't even know or remember how many floors they had before, but if they did add more, I will cry. For the small 10-minute footage we got, it looks like Tartarus has way more design and none of that random generated floor crap and some type of collectible you can collect when you explore more floors. Now that Tartarus is fixed, there is nothing anyone can say now to deny the facts that P3 is the GOAT. I can shoot holes through your take like Swiss cheese. Just watch Obama when this game is more easy than P5 Royal. They might as well keep all the party members on auto because we all know Atlas is going to make this game have no difficulty. P5 isn't even that easy. I mean, yes, once you sunk in 100 plus hours, then yeah, I could see why you might say it's easy. Difficulty does not determine how good a game is done. If that's the case, then the Dark Souls series would be the kings of gaming, and games like Mario would be considered trash. I mean, a Chad like me does enjoy some Bloodborne and Elden Ring. Nobody cares, Donald. Let's get back to this true peak. Some of the new songs I heard I instantly like, but I really do hope Atlas keeps the OG versions of mass destruction and moon reaches to the stars in the game. I love the original female singer for P3. I don't mind the new one, but it would feel kind of wrong if you didn't include the original version to be turned on by players. Shoot even at the P3 portable soundtrack. I would love that as well. You know, I was gonna say, you know, that's not possible, but now that I think about it, maybe Atlas did do it. I mean, it is their first real big, huge remake, so adding a new mechanic where you can change the open world and hub music would be possible now. All I know is when P4 Golden gets its remake, the earth itself will shatter. Bro, Donald, why the hell do you always keep bringing up P4 Golden for? He's just insecure, just ignore him. Insecure about what? I already told you all I'm not buying this game and that's fine. You gotta be joking. Are you serious, man? You're tripping. I love me some P5, but this looks too good to pass up, Donald. Memento Mori, remember that Donald. It's called the Xbox Game Pass Losers. While you two sit over there wasting all your $70 and $200 editions, I'm going to be enjoying the amazing life and liberties of being a Xbox Game Pass subscriber. Doesn't matter. This game is worth the money anyway, so nobody cares, Donald. This game will easily win Game of the Year for 2024 and will be in the top three 
for best video games of the decade. If it's in the top three, then I know for sure P5 Royal is number two. Because I refuse to believe this could be Be better. quite sleepy, Joe. Your little baby P5 dropped in 2016, so it doesn't get to qualify for this decade, you fool. Let's get back on track. Let me not forget to mention Chidori and how freaking amazing she looked. Man, I'm so proud of my boy, Junipe. That's for sure my number one homie in all of Persona. Plus, we're going to get more scenes with Jin and Takaya. Like, really, everyone, it really feels like life isn't real right now when I say this. Does everyone hear all this simping? More like preaching. I'm not going to lie. Donald Obama has been kind of preaching this entire episode. I guess Sleepy Joe is confirmed turning into a little Obama and P3 meat rider now. Joe is just honest, unlike your cornball self, Donald. I almost forgot to even mention we have a whole new rollback mechanic where you can go back in time in your game without even having to save in a new save slot. Oh, for real? That's for real game changing, man. I don't have to have 30,000 different save files anymore. Yep, that pretty much confirms it for me. This game is going to be too damn easy, even more easy than P5 Royal. Man, I'm sorry, but a Chad like me needs some type of challenge to stay engaged. This ain't cutting it, champ. I feel a lot of hate and toxicity coming from this hater called Donald. So for the sake of the Obama show, I think we will wrap it up for today. This information dump wasn't too insane and crazy, but it was certainly a time to be alive. I would like to thank each and every single one of you tuning in, and we will all see you again next time. Let us know down below. What is your favorite reveal has been so far? This is The Obama Show, and we will all see you next time. Good night, everyone.